Here at home, we're in for some windy and rainy conditions. Ivan, when can we expect it all? We are coming uh, for Wednesday here, so we have one more day of dry weather for tomorrow. We're going to wake up with uh, chilly temperatures. We're going to go to bed with chilly temperatures, uh, upper 50s to low 60s right now, and the temperatures are going to stay that way through the uh, overnight hours. Our normal high temperature is 79 this time of year. We hit 73. We're going to be closer to average for uh, tomorrow, but current readings already below 60. Look at Pembroke Pines are 59, 60 degrees. If you haven't been outside, in a few hours, you're taking the garbage out. Well, it's going to be a little cool for you. You're going to go want to get right back in there. Look at 66 there at Marathon and 67. Enjoy. This is it. I mean, this is the coolest night that we have for the rest of the week. It is uh, from now on going to start warming up and uh, going to start raining here Wednesday. And once we turn on the rain, uh, it is going to be difficult to shut off here. I'm afraid it's uh, not looking good for us. Breezy conditions. There's the cool weather in the morning. There comes the front, the same one that brought us the fantastic weather coming back as a rainmaker here for. Wednesday through Friday. All the while, the winds are going to be whipping as well. So it is going to look and feel like a whole different uh, part of the country here across South Florida the next few days. Area of low pressure then comes in and just adds more injury here as we continue with the rainfall tallies. Uh, you know, we typically don't see numbers like this in December, but we will. Three to five inches total through the end of the week and into the first part of the weekend. Some of us may pick up a little bit uh, more than that. Storm, the uh, Weather Prediction Center has already put us on Wednesday as an elevated area for uh, flooding that continues on Thursday. We'll do it again on Friday. Haven't spent a while since I've seen three in a row like that, and uh, that's going to be with us uh, through Saturday likely as well. Rain tracker tomorrow pretty quiet here. Northeast wind comes in. A lot of cloud cover. It's going to be mostly cloudy days, just a couple of sprinkles. Not a huge deal. It's Wednesday where things just once they get going, you see the yells and origins there. That is going to continue to be a, a mess here, and you see these bands kind of setting up. Those are the kinds that can feed in off the water and really get going with terrific amounts of rain uh, continues Wednesday night into Thursday. You get the idea here. It is uh, going to be a very unsettled setup uh, for the end of the week. Rip currents are going to be high. Not many of us are going to be wanting to go to the beach anyway over the next uh, few days as uh, things cloud over and we start raining along with the wind. That is going to cause problems uh, along the bays here. It is just going to be bumpy rides. Very rough uh, to rough conditions with a small craft advisor that will likely continue through the end of the week. As we check in on the forecast for uh, tonight, you saw the numbers already. Not going to move all that much. Much. Upper 50s to low to mid 60s, particularly if you're closer to the water, it'll be a little bit milder there. Temperatures then mid and upper 70s through the afternoon. We'll do that with mostly cloudy skies. There's your seven day forecast with rain Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday.